In the heart of summer, under the lush canopy of the woods, a single father, Jake, and his eight-year-old daughter, Lily, embarked on a picturesque hike. The sunlight filtered through the leaves, casting a warm glow on their journey as they meandered up the trail together. Lily was adorned in a very short, flowery sundress that matched both her energy and the blooming wildflowers around them, and she skipped joyfully beside her father. Jake reveled in the joy of this precious time he was spending with his adventurous daughter. However, as they were descending back down the trail, a subtle feeling of unease crept into Jake. For some reason, he couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. He looked around at the woods surrounding them, but he didn't see anything out of the ordinary. He turned to look at Lily, but his heart skipped a beat as he saw that she wasn't beside him. Panic gripped him as he frantically looked around for his daughter. But then he quickly spotted her off to the side of the trail, squatting to relieve herself. Relief washed over him as he quickly walked over to her. He gently reprimanded her and told her not to wander off again without letting him know. Lily smiled as she nodded and apologized, and Jake smiled and gently patted her head. Lily finally finished relieving herself and stood up, and the two of them continued hiking down the trail hand in hand. But Jake's sense of relief did not last long, as the previous sense of unease quickly swept over him again. He still couldn't see anything out of the ordinary around them, but he still couldn't shake the sense of being watched, and the feeling was slowly growing stronger. Even Lily began to pick up on her father's sense of unease, and she asked him what was wrong. Nothing, sweetie. He replied, looking down at his daughter with a reassuring smile. Despite his reassurance, Lily could still sense his unease, but she didn't say anything more about it, and they continued hiking down the trail. They eventually came to a section of the trail where the trail narrowed and the woods thickened significantly, with the trees and bushes thickening and bordering right up against the narrowed trail. Additionally, the trail tightly twisted and turned a lot in this area, and Jake and Lily could not see beyond each tight bend. Normally, the two of them found this section of the trail fun and exciting, like a mysterious adventure. But right now, given the current circumstances, it made Jake feel boxed in and claustrophobic. He felt apprehensive as he rounded each tight bend and kept glancing behind him, wishing he could see around the bends in either direction. Then suddenly, a twig snapped somewhere off the trail, making Jake's heart jump. His growing sense of unease was now starting to be mixed with fear. He continued walking with his daughter in tow, his senses now on higher alert. And then he started hearing rustling sounds, and sounds that sounded like they might be footsteps. He couldn't see the source due to the walls of trees and bushes bordering the trail, but it did not sound like an animal's footsteps. Fear gripped Jake, and he started running with his daughter down the tightly winding trail. Lily's short sundress flapped and fluttered wildly as she struggled to keep up with her father's pace. They heard more sounds in the thick brush, definitely sounding as if they were being pursued although the sounds were falling further and further behind them, but Jake and Lily just kept running. At long last, they reached the end of the tight, claustrophobic area and emerged into more open woods again as the trail widened, and they continued sprinting, filled with adrenaline. A little way down the trail, Jake briefly glanced back at the thick claustrophobic area in the distance, where he thought he saw a big bush rustling, but he faced forward again and kept running. A few times he thought he might have heard running footsteps behind them off to the side of the trail in the woods, but he didn't look back. They finally reached the parking lot and quickly got into the car. As they started driving off, Jake thought he saw a person peeking out at them from behind a tree by the trailhead, but he couldn't make out much of the person at all, and he just kept driving. The whole time they were driving home, Jake kept occasionally glancing into the rearview mirror and all around them to try to see if anybody might be following them, but he didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Nonetheless, a slight uneasy feeling continued to linger, even when he and his daughter finally arrived at their house. That night, as Jake lay in bed, a rattling noise from outside pierced the stillness. He swiftly went over to the window and looked outside. A hooded and masked figure was struggling with the padlock on the gate on the side of the house that led to the backyard. Jake thought back to the incident in the woods earlier that day, thinking that this couldn't be a coincidence. Jake started yelling at the intruder, who paused and looked up at him for a moment. 
But then the intruder finally broke the lock and opened the gate and stepped through. Fear and anger surged through Jake as he grabbed his phone. He started calling the police as he moved swiftly and quietly out of his room and into Lily's room, waking her gently and urging her to be silent. Lily's bedroom door didn't have a lock, so they retreated to Jake's room, locking the door just as they heard the ominous sound of a window breaking downstairs. Then, after a period of tense and fearful silence, they heard the intruder's footsteps creeping through the house and up the stairs, sending shivers down their spines. Tension hung in the air as they listened to the intruder creeping down the hall and into Lily's room, and then rummaging through her room. And then the footsteps retreated back into the hall and towards Jake's room. The doorknob and door rattled for a few seconds as the intruder struggled to open it, but failed, and then the room fell into an eerie silence. Suddenly, the door was kicked open, making both Jake and Lily jump, and Jake instinctively shielded his daughter. The intruder charged, brandishing a knife. A struggle ensued between Jake and the intruder, with Jake managing to knock the intruder's knife away. Finally, Jake managed to tackle the intruder and pin him down. After a tense minute, during which the intruder remained pinned down, Lily, now calmer, walked over to the intruder and stood right next to his head. Turning away from him, she lifted her nightgown and squatted down, and farted in his face. Her laughter filled the room as the intruder cried out in disgust. Even Jake found amusement in the moment, and he shared an amused smirk with his daughter. After a little while, the police finally arrived and arrested the intruder, and then assured Jake that they would increase patrols in the area and investigate the unsettling encounter in the woods. Afterwards, Jake covered up the broken window downstairs, and then he and his daughter went back to his bedroom together where they spent the rest of the night sleeping in his bed together with his arm protectively wrapped around her. As Jake held his daughter close, he vowed to protect her from both the seen and unseen dangers that lurked in the shadows.